here are the headlines. This is off the Activision Blizzard earnings uh, announcement. And Lisa, it's a set of headlines that gives you an intraday lift to Microsoft. And it's fractional, but that's off the melt up yesterday. I'm going to clock it now at 361 per share at about a 5% lift since about 10 a.m. yesterday. The acquisition of Activision Blizzard has been uh, held up in a bunch of litigation and other regulatory concerns, a question around whether it will get uh, executed or not. Activision Blizzard giving Microsoft more time to complete the $69 billion merger. That's the latest news, prompting a leg higher just slightly in pre-market trading. They're extending the deadline to October 18th, uh, and so they're going to also— It's a good uh, amount of time. You it's know, a, I, yeah, but no. also in, in return for this, Microsoft— agreed to a higher termination fee and some new commercial agreements. So trying to kick the can as they uh, work through some and of the I, regulatory I, issues. I, I, yeah, well, the regulatory issues, I wonder how we see and in what way we receive a response from the government in this, given the travails the government has had in the last uh, number of days. I'm colored by this. I don't think clearly on this. I, had the, I was with Bloomberg. I have the clearest memories of just one headline slipping out on a lazy day, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., you know, I was worried about what was in the food court, said government drops all actions against Microsoft or whatever it was. I mean, the whole government angst and all that, and then all of a sudden they go, uh, They haven't been very successful not. with their antitrust yeah. pushes, and that's been something that uh, Linda Kahn <clears throat> has been a bit well, concerned about. Uh, I know a lot of pushback from, the, uh, from Congress.